Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and come with us on our journey. So for today's video, I am testing out a new to me palette, the NYX Utopia palette. Um, it was on sale at Ulta, so I picked it up. If you want to see how I created this look, did I like the palette? Was it worth the buy? Well then just stay tuned. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps YouTube know you want to see my content. So if you want to see how I got this look, just stay tuned. So today I'm going to go in with the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. I know this isn't new, but it's new to me. Um, I got it on sale. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. Yes, my fingers have already been in the shimmers to see what they look like. There's a lot of pretty fall colors in here. Um, I got this on sale on at on Ulta, so it is super pretty. It does not have shade names on the front nor the back. You hear my cat scratching at the door. Sorry. Um, so I'm gonna go in with. kind of like a gray. I'm looking more. I'm going to go in with this. It's like a muted green. And I'm just going to take, the only thing I have on my eyes is concealer. I'm going to just take that shade and I'm going to dab it above the crease as our transition. And the reason I dab is so that the pigment doesn't skip. On my textured eyelids. So we dab first and build up pigment. Just like that. And we're gonna blend it. Blend, blend, blend. I have not tried but one NYX palette and it was the colorful one and the pigment in that wasn't as vivid as I would hope it would be so I don't think I've even used that hardly at all but this palette seemed to get good reviews so I figured I would try I'm just going to take this fluffy brush that nothing on it Blend that out a little bit. Okie dokie. And then they have, there's a black, there's a like army green. So yeah, let's take this. Or do we want to go brown first? Um, yeah, we'll take this green. It's like a army green type shade. here and bring it in just a little bit now green is my favorite color but it is not my favorite color eyeshadow so I'm going to bring that in some So we're getting that more concentrated. So any of the holiday collections coming out that excite you guys? I think Vader's doing too much of the same. I mean, how many times can we repeat the same shade in an eyeshadow palette? Then I'm going to go in with that first brush. Because the pigment is separating a little bit right there. Okay. So I'm just going to build that back up a little bit. 
that Huda palette is really parody, but I just feel like it's a repeat of shades from her other palettes. And pretty much everybody's fall collection that came out had those shades in it. So I'm just not thrilled about it. So I'm going to go in with this dark. It don't look green on the camera, but it really looks green in real life. Like a green and gold. I'm just going to go in with my finger. And we're just going to put that in the center of the lid like that. go and take a clean fluffy brush. I'm going to dab into a cream color and I'm just going to blend this a little bit. There we go. A little bit better of a blend. Then on the inner inner corner, there's this really pretty light green right here that I'm going to put. We're going to call this video 50 Shades of Green. I'm going to try with a brush. We're just going to pat that on the inner third. The fallout is real, so I would definitely recommend either spraying your brush or doing your eyes first. Let's go back in with that green that we had on the outside. and see if that makes the shade pop a little more. Yep, that was the trick. And then I'm just going to take that and dab right there. Go in with a little bit more. And then I'm just going to take my finger and dab it. I'm going to hop off and do the rest of my face and we'll come back and finish the eyes. Okay, so we got our foundation, concealer, and powder on. I just went in with my Pretty Fresh, my Age Rewind, and my Fit Me, which, by the way, almost gone for me. That's rare. So yeah, that's what we got there. So for under the eye, I'm going to do the... I think I'm going to do that green that we did on the outer corner. Just bring that like that. And then that first blending brush that we went in with, we're just going to take that and we're going to Blend it out. And 
then for a liner I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop shade in Dirty Talk it's like a gold shade Shiny light gold shade, just like that. Now I'm going to go in with, there's like a champagne gold shimmer. I'm going to pop that in my inner corner and on my brow that in like that. Spray it and see what it does. That seems to be the trick with this palette. Like that. You can always use your highlighter as well. And we haven't put any on yet. So next I'm going to go in with mascara, if I can find it. Okay, so I just went ahead and threw mascara on. Next we're going to bronze up and blush up the face. I'm going to use this because it's sitting in front of me. This is a face palette by Perfusion. And it just pinched my finger. It's not very nice. Uh, let's... I'm just going to take... The... It's very orange, so I hope it don't come out too bad. Yeah, uh, not my favorite. Let's find a different bronzer, because that's not working for me. Um... palettes and don't know what to work with let's go on with this one it is the W7 I see a lot of people use this so I picked it up and I hardly ever use it but that's par for the course with me. Okay, and let's find a blush, a blush, a blush. We'll go in with this palette. It's from Wanderlust. We're going to go in with Havana Nights. It's this little blush in the middle. Highlighter. We'll just use this. Let's see how this works. Hmm. It's all right. It'll work. powder brush and make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Let's set our face. Love that stuff. And for the lip I'm going to use this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Candy Paint. I love these Lippy Sticks. They're so creamy. They go on so easily. 
so that is the final look that I created with this next Utopia palette. It went on beautifully. It blended nicely. You do need to apply the shimmers with them wet to get the best results, but I think we did pretty good once we wet it. So if you like this look, give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, ladies and gents, let's build each other up, be proud of who you are, and always stay beautiful. Much love.